Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be how I prep my natural hair for protective style. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I do, then go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, y'all. So this is my hair in all of its glory. I have my hair in two braids for about almost a week. Today is Friday, I did my hair last Saturday. So yeah, it's almost been a week and it's about time for me to wash my hair. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do box braids for this new protective style that I'm gonna do. I had box braids a couple months ago. They were a little too big for me. So I'm gonna do small box braids and I'm so excited. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna post how I do my box braids at home for the love. So yeah, y'all, this is my hair. I am completely natural. If you wanna know more of my natural hair story, I can do a natural hair story or my natural hair or whatever, because I haven't really talked much about my natural hair here on my channel. So yeah, just let me know if y'all are interested in that. But for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. I will show you right now all the products that I use. So when I hop in the shower and I do my hair, I don't have to keep, you know, showing you guys the product. So let's go ahead and get started with shampoo. So starting off with shampoo, I like to use this Palmer's Micellar Rose Water Cleanser. It smells so good. It kind of smells like cologne a little bit. But it smells really good and this is a clarifying shampoo. I love the nozzle so I can get in there. If you have braids or twists or anything like that and you like to wash your hair with your protective style in, this is an amazing, an amazing, an amazing product to use while you have a protective style. I actually really like this nozzle for that reason specifically when I do wash my box braids and I do wash them. <laughs> but I do like to use this product whenever I am trying to clarify my hair and I definitely want to clarify before I put heat to it because I do stretch my hair whenever I do braids or twists or anything like that with extensions so this is an amazing product for you to get all that build up off your scalp and off your hair strands and yeah and it doesn't leave your hair feeling dry it does make it feel not squeaky clean but very very clean now the next product that i use is a protein treatment i have featured this product on my channel before when i did my flat ironing routine and i'll link that in the eye in the sky but i really really love this afog two-step protein treatment now it is hella messy hella hella messy but when i tell y'all this gets the job done it gets the job done so i actually put this in my Afoji pro vitamin leave-in conditioner spray bottle because i like to keep it in a spray bottle but you can use any spray bottle that you like that's just personally what i did since i had that empty and it was just sitting around but y'all, this protein treatment is amazing if you have heat damage, if you have relaxed hair, if you're transitioning, if you have natural hair and you just need a protein treatment. I do this protein treatment every eight weeks, y'all, consistently, just to make sure that my hair is nice and strong. I especially do this if I know I'm going to do a protective style. I definitely do it then. So... Yes, if you guys are straightening your hair or if you're doing a long-term protective style, you need protein in your life, especially if you're going to blow dry your hair. This is muy importante. And to follow up with that two-step protein treatment, since it's a very hard protein, I like to go in with the G Balancing Moisturizer. This says Balancing Moisturizer, but this is actually their conditioner, and this is just going to balance the pH that the protein treatment, you know, kind of throw out a whack. So this is gonna balance the pH in the hair. This is gonna balance the protein and moisture balance so you don't have too much protein or too much moisture. This is bae. I have to use it with that. I feel like it just works perfectly and it gives you a lot of slip as well. So this is a must as well. And for deep conditioning, I gotta use bae. This is bae, y'all, this is bae. Some people don't like Shea Moisture, but this is one of the things from Shea Moisture that I absolutely cannot live without. I have to buy multiples so I don't run out. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is made with African Rock Fizz and Baobab. Y'all, I absolutely love this deep conditioner for moisturizing my hair. This smells like heaven. 
it smells like heaven and it really really makes my hair feel very soft and moisturized and prepped and plump and just amazing so this is a must you guys don't have to buy every single thing that I mentioned but these are the things that I like to use to make sure that my hair is nice and put together before I put some heat on it so for one of my many leave-in conditioners, not just two, I like to use this Afoji Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. This smooth detangles, improves body and shine, and this also protects against heat. And y'all, I really, really love this stuff because it does add a little bit of moisture, but it also acts as a layer of protection from heat. I do use a heat protectant, but this is just a nice spray leave-in a lightweight leave-in that I put in while my hair is still damp and then I use my other heat protectant which I'm going to show you guys as the actual heat protectant. This is just nice to add a little moisture back into my hair before I start to heat style and it goes with the line as far as the protein treatment so I like how it balances everything out as well. For my heat protecting y'all you guys do not have to use this brand. I will give you guys cheaper recommendations but this is the best blow drying heat protectant spray I have ever used in my entire life y'all it is on the pricey side however it is well worth it it is well well worth it so this is the Kenra platinum blow dry spray this is an advanced dry thermal protectant now this line does have a smaller bottle which is a little cheaper but this lasts forever but y'all this is a heat protectant that I love. One, it smells delicious. Two, it adds shine to my hair. So when I'm straightening my hair, this is bomb. Like, this is bomb. You don't have to put all that extra oil and stuff in your hair. Oh, I just love it. If y'all want to see my routine, I'm going to link it in the eye in the sky again. Click on that eye so y'all can see what my hair looked like after I straightened it and I used this. Okay. But y'all, this cuts my blow drying time in half. Like, it does not take me half as long to blow dry my hair when I use this so if you guys are in like, if you guys blow dry your hair for like 30 45 minutes imagine that being cut in half I could get done with my whole head in about 15 to 20 minutes using this spray and I can definitely tell a difference when I don't use this because it takes way longer I don't know what witchcraft they put in here but y'all it is amazing and I've never ever ever suffered from heat damage with using this I also double up so I do use that pro leave-in that pro vitamin leave-in which is a heat protectant and I also use this but y'all this is so worth it and it has your hair smelling so good y'all mm. y'all just go into Ulta go to the back where the hair products are go to Kenra and just smell the blow dry spray that's all you gotta do just smell it y'all gonna be like okay Janae was talking her stuff she was she was good she was good Okay, so my last two products that I put in my hair before I actually start the braiding process, besides my edge control, which I'm going to do in the actual braiding video, but the last two products that I put in my hair, I use one as a moisturizer. This is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Plus Coconut Oil Curl Milk. This works very, very well on my hair. I absolutely love the way that this makes my hair feel. I don't put a lot of this product because if you do put too much, it can revert your hair back and it'll defeat the whole purpose of you blow drying your hair for this protective style. So yeah, this, I, I think I really like this because the first ingredient in this product is aloe vera juice and the second one is water. So aloe vera on my hair is just amazing, but this is a really good product and a little bit goes a long way. Last but not least, I have this Eden Body Works Conditioning Hair Dress. This is the Papaya Caster, and this is a styling balm to nourish and strengthen the hair shaft. This smooths the cuticle and adds shine to dull hair. This is just a good sealant without me using too much oil. This smells pretty good as well. And a little bit does go a long way. That's why I haven't used much. This is a really, really good product. I absolutely enjoy this. A little bit truly goes a long way. And it does add shine. It adds a little moisture while sealing everything in. Especially since your hair is going to be in that protective style for four, six to eight weeks. However long you keep yours in. Alright y'all. So I know I'm looking like Young and May's little cousin or whatever. But I just put my hair in four plaits after I moisturized it like I showed you guys. Y'all, I'm just tired. Y'all, I'm pregnant. I'm tired. I just can't. <laughs> 
but I just put my hair in four plaits after I blow dried and trimmed my ends a little bit just dusted them and yeah now I'm about to eat something and go to sleep because I am tired and it's midnight so yes I'm gonna try and edit this video as soon as possible so I can show you guys how I do everything or whatnot but yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I prep my hair if you guys are interested in seeing how my boss braids come out then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video if you want to see more hair videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one